there is a problem with NBA 2K23 my team, and it's because of this reason right here. Matt Mojo just got banned for absolutely nothing, and he's not the only one. I've seen a bunch of other people get banned for absolutely no reason. I've seen a bunch of people in other people's 2K chats, like Z-Man's, Matt Mojo's, and even others, getting banned for absolutely no reason. 2K says that Matt Mojo bought MT and is going to be banned for 30 calendar days. But the thing is, he has never bought MT in his life, and he spends about $100 to $200 a week for NBA 2K23. 2K loves their money, but they still ban him because 2K does not know what they're doing. But 2K, for some reason, thinks Mojo bought MT and thought that he w he needed to be banned because of false information. But the next thing that I want to talk about is this card right here. Victor Wamanyama is about 800k MT. Now, people are pulling this card from the locker code glitch, but they're also pulling, they pulled him a while ago and have kept him. But people are selling this card for a bunch of MT, which is usual, because if you remember in like 2K20, 2K19, every single year, there's always one card that goes for about a million MT. Michael Jordan in 2K20 went for over 3 million MT. Did anybody get banned for selling him? No. In 2K21, there's so many cards going for over a million MT. Did people get banned for that? No. 2K22, multiple cards over a million MT. Did people get banned for selling those cards? No. In 2K19, there's a limited LeBron, Kobe, and Michael Jordan. Did they get banned for selling those cards for over 4 million MT? They did not. 2K is just not doing great right now. That's actually messed, bro. That's actually messed, bro. He didn't wait, bro. He, there's no way he bought him T. <laughs> bro, th that's mess, bro. 2K's weird, bro. These new endgame packs might have a reason for this because so many people are, are getting MT fast. Now, if you have bought MT, there's definitely a reason for you to get banned. But if you're getting falsely banned because you've done absolutely nothing, make sure to contact 2K. Well, oh, wait, I forgot. They don't do anything. They literally don't help you at all. They don't unban you. They don't talk to anybody. You talk for them for two minutes, and they never reach out to you again, even though they say. Now, people are getting a lot of MT because they want these cards, and that's just how 2K is. That's how 2K has been for the last five to four years. And 2K has not done anything good this year. It was Season 7 and the start of Season 8 where, you know, the 2K got back up and was doing very good. But nobody, I literally played this game in 2K20 every single day for 10 hours straight. 10 hours straight in 2K20. I would play this game every single day because of the rewards and how fun it was. But now, I play this game two hours a day because there's nothing to do. I got level 40 and that's literally it. You can That's literally all you can do when you hit, hit level 40. That's literally the last thing you can do in NBA 2K23. See, you can grind my career, but there's nothing to do in that. It's the same exact thing every single time. Park's fun, but it's not the same as 2K20, 2K19. So, these false bans are crazy, man. It's I hope I don't get banned, but if I get banned, I literally, literally don't care. I just want 2K24 to come out. We still got, like, two months to a month and a half. I'm just... I'm just really mad because the, a lot of these creators are getting banned for absolutely no reason. Matt Mojo is my favorite YouTuber, right? He gets banned for the game that he loves. And for no reason. For absolutely no reason. NBA 2K23 has been horrible. Absolutely horrible. 2K22 was good. 2K21 was good. 2K20 might be the one of the best 2Ks of all time. 2K19 was great. 2K18 was meh. That's where I started, actually. But 2K is going downhill. I hope 2K24 is way better. The content is better. You, If you buy MT, you probably, hopefully you don't get banned the an hour later. Like, just let us have fun. Like, say someone buys a million VC. Are they going to get banned because they got over a million VC and they can get all these cards? 
But don't you love your money, 2K? It's just insane, guys. Here's a clip of uh, Matt Mojo responding to his ban. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said I'm banned for buying MT points. Guys, let me tell you something. Look at that. I have not bought no points. Yeah, I got banned. Guys, I don't know what's going on. This is wrong. This is wrong. I've bought, everybody knows I've been doing straight VC. This is such an L. Hell, I've even advocated for the V, you know, for it. You know what I'm saying? It's bogus, bro. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Free, free me for real, bro. Guys, if you want 2K24, buy it. I got it because, of course, I need content. But I also love the game in general. I love NBA 2K. I don't care if it's bad or good. I'm still going to play it. But for the next two months, until 2K24 comes out, it's going to be straight trash, guys. Just know that. But tomorrow we have Taco, Victor, Yao, and Kristaps Rzingis. I already made a video on those cards. So if you want to check that out, you can. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. I took a lot of time, uh, you know, going through all of, like, what's happening. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to be a part of the GOAT game. And if you think 2K is bad right now and should not be banning anybody, of course, this late in the game, like it up. We probably should hit over 500 likes because this is crazy, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to be part of the GOAT game. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.